So there's been some confusion on the use of cell phones between classes. Are they allowed? Yes, the, I think what's, what's important for me to stress as I answer this question, phones are not permitted during instructional time, during the 80 minutes of each block, each of the four blocks. So that means in class and in the hallways, in the restrooms, anywhere during each 80 minute interval of instruction, phones are not permitted during the change of class, from class to class, during lunch and before and after school, cell phone use is completely appropriate. There are electives where students rely on their personal devices, laptops, to do work. Some classes, for example, are photo, broadcasting, CAD, and graphics. Will the policy have exceptions? All right. And we, what we need to keep in mind is in each of those courses we have, the equipment, the necessary equipment for students to do their work in those classes. So in answer to your question, no. Students won't be able to bring in their personal laptops to do work in those classes. If a phone is taken from a student and the device is lost or damaged, will the school be held accountable? No, no, it's clear in our policy that students bring their phones and personal devices at their own risk. So no, the school or the school district will not be assuming responsibility. What does the school plan to accomplish with the ban of personal devices? Phones have zero instructional value. Zero instructional value. Once we hand a student a Chromebook, anything that you can do on a phone, you can do on a Chromebook. We're here to educate. During those 80 minute intervals of class time, cell phones, because they have no instructional value, are banned. Plain and simple. What we're hoping to accomplish by that is maximizing students' educational experience, right? If you're here to get an education and a cell phone has no instructional purpose or value, our goal in banning them during instructional time is to maximize your educational experience, plain and simple. Banning personal laptops, okay, that's a different, there's a different goal behind that. That's more of a safety and a security issue. I can't track what you do in school on your personal device. So if you're up to something that's unhealthy or unsafe while you're in school, while you're my responsibility, I can't track your computer use on your own device. However, I can on the Chromebook because it's district issued and it's, it's district monitored. So it's a, so the ban on the cell phones there's an educational goal there, an instructional goal there. The ban on personal laptops, that's a safety and a security goal. Because like I said, I don't have the ability to monitor what students are doing on their personal devices during the time that I'm responsible for them. Do you have anything you would like to add? No, I just, I, I think it's, it's going well. I, I do. I think the vast majority of students, thank you, are complying and will just continue to whittle away at the students who, who want to disregard uh, the rule. And uh, the feedback that I'm getting from teachers is very positive. Students are much more focused, much more engaged in class. The halls are empty during instructional time, which is good. Students should be in classrooms during instructional time, not out in the hallways, on their phones, meeting up with their friends, hanging out in bathrooms. So I think it's having, overall, I think it's having a very positive impact.